Today, I'm going to be replacing my radiator. Uh, this is a job I've done before. It's not too complicated, but there are definitely a couple things you got to watch out for. Uh, this is the old radiator. This is the standard BMW radiator. Um, and uh, I've, this is the second radiator like this that I've had to replace. And uh, they're all right, but they do definitely have a weakness, and that's these god awful plastic end tanks, which are really from hell. Um, the first radiator I had that had a problem, it started leaking between the seal from the metal radiator to the uh, plastic end tank, so I had to replace it. This second one developed a crack right here. Uh, because this hose connector was plastic and uh, it just cracked um, and now I have to replace it. So that got me thinking and uh, I finally decided to take a chance and uh, try a non OEM radiator. So this is the uh, Mishimoto, uh, what is it, MM Rad. E36-92 radiator, something along those lines. Uh, it's an all aluminum radiator. So you can see it came well protected and packaged, which was nice. Um, here it is. So the thing that really drew me to this is the aluminum end tanks. Uh, so there won't be any of those issues with the brittle plastic. Hopefully. Um, I think it will be an upgrade. I don't know. I'm skeptical here. You can ask me in 50,000 miles what I think. But uh, you'll notice also the uh, aluminum end tanks. There are pretty significant ones on both sides. So it probably does have a little extra cooling capacity there. Um, and uh, yeah, other than that, it's supposed to be. Uh, direct drop-in fit. We'll find out in a minute. Um, it seems like a decent radiator overall, although I did notice that some of the uh, little radiator fins here aren't quite right. So, eh, it's not great. We'll see what happens. I also noticed that this one, the fan tread on the OEM, attaches with plastic rivets, which I don't like. Um, and this one, it actually bolts on, which I think will be an improvement. Um, but it didn't come with bolts. So, I don't know if they just didn't pack them on mine and I got screwed. Or if that was um, something that they just screw you over with regularly. Uh, not a big deal though, I went and picked up some 6mm stainless steel bolts that uh, thread into this. And they also thread into this right here and here to hold the uh, transmission uh, oil cooler on. Uh, the old one has like screws, this one screws on with the 6mm bolts, which again I think is an improvement. Um, I just wish it came with the 6mm bolts. And I'm a little bit worried about the dodgy little fins here. Uh, they seem flimsy and some of them aren't quite uh, in there. So I don't know what to think about that. Um, hopefully though, the big deal, what I really care about is all aluminum construction. If that stops it from leaking and 50,000 miles or 100,000 miles, that'll be a good thing. It'd be worth the extra money. It wasn't that much more expensive. Oh, look, it's morning. Uh, magic. Uh, another key difference between the uh, stock BMW radiator and the Mishimoto that I really like is the core. These actual uh, radiator sections here that cool it. If you look at your OEM radiator, 
uh, the actual part right here is thinner than this part. There's a, a good maybe three-eighths of an inch inset right there. The Mishimoto doesn't have that. The fins take up the entire section. So, really the only thing that I don't like about this is that these little fins seem very thin and flimsy. Uh, a little bit shoddy, but other than that, uh, it looks like it'll be a really good upgrade. We'll see. Let's hope. All right, that's that. Uh, it's also worth noting that the drain plug on the Mishimoto is magnetic. So in case you get any iron or steel shards in there, I don't know how that would happen, you got a magnetic drain plug to pull those things out. I don't know if that's actually useful or if it's just gimmicky, but hey, something. Um, can't hurt anything at least. Now, for some reason, a lot of, uh, almost all the websites where I saw this radiator for sale listed it as a manual transmission only radiator. Uh, which is odd, because for the life of me I can't imagine why that would matter. I have an automatic, so uh, I think the website where I bought this from told me you know, it won't fit on my vehicle. I'm not sure I buy that though, and as far as I can tell, it makes not a damn bit of difference. Uh, so. Uh, I just figured there might be a chance we'll have to modify something slightly. Um, we'll find out in a second, but I'm confident we'll make it work. Even on the Mishimoto packaging, in fact, the sticker says 92 to 99 BMW E36 manual. Daniel? Really? Well, damn it all. No one's gonna tell me what to do. It's going on my car. It's now been uh, over a week since I've replaced my radiator, and I drive a lot. So uh, in that week, I've put, put quite a few miles on this radiator. Haven't had any trouble with it. Uh, it's running like a champ. And uh, I can tell you that at least on my 98 automatic, it was a direct drop-in replacement, except for a small issue with the fan shroud. Um, so as far as the sites that say it's a manual-only transmission, I still don't know why that's the case. Uh, and in my particular car, at least, there was nothing preventing me from putting it on my automatic transmission. Still don't know what that's about, but uh, I think it's crap. Um, perhaps older E36s have issues, I don't know, but uh, I certainly didn't have any problem with it. 